surface high grip there's also another sign behind that sign so I'm going to be backing off a little bit lots of stuff's hit the fan here <coughs> there's also a driveway for this, this uh, road house on the right so just being aware of that having a look into it before I make my decision to go yeah I'm happy with that I can pick my speed right up now there are driveways on both sides but I can see into them I'm happy with them I'm at the 50 limit in third so drop it into fourth because <coughs> I can see enough to get up towards fourth gear there's also a junction left hand here with a with a junction on it for the pubs. I can see a red van, so I'm going to give him a quick horn signal just in case uh, he doesn't see me here. Quick horn signal again. I'm going to have to signal right just for any oncomers that come around the corner. Getting a view down the left hand side of the post van, left mirror to move back in. I had to overtake there on the solid whites because there was some part on that point. I'm going to warn the person that's oncoming that there's a hazard ahead and then uh, looking to go up towards fourth gear to relax the engine, but I am considering the brow of the hill for the next change. One well, oncomer solid white lines at the moment lifting up in the seat so that I can see positioning slightly right of centre so I can see a better view but there is some houses ahead expecting perhaps a change of speed limit or driveways to the left no one currently behind bus stop and there's also an oncoming vehicle changes to a 40 so just keeping an eye on the mirrors as we come in through off to off the power now coming into Ashley D D Zuch. so I'm backing off the power positioning towards the left so that I can see further around the right hand bend just having a look down and through, we've got solid lines, like white lines in the middle of the road, so just considering that as we come down here, we've got the bus stop to the right, lots of driveways which are icy to the left, so just positioning slightly closer towards the centre lines. We've also got a slow sign on the road with the post box on comers. Um, currently looking at the houses on both sides, there's also pavements that are very slippery, so expecting to see people either slipping about or walking in the road. Currently no one behind, there's a lot of oncoming junction on the right. Um, and there's also a pedestrian walking on the pavement to the left. Still doing the 40 limit, but it's going to change down to 30. There's a pub on the left. So just backing off now. Just having a look at what's behind me. I'm happy with that. Just thinking about what the pedestrian's done. He's just turned round, so I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Keeping well away from the pavement. He's not quite aware of what's happening around him. Just looking at double slow signs, and there's a roundabout. We're looking to carry it straight ahead of this one. So taking up the left-hand lane as we approach, just considering what the other car's doing on coming. So I'm going to time it to get there just when he's disappeared, but I need to look down towards the right. There are some pedestrians down there, so there might be a school about. No one down the left-hand side. I'm going to make my decision to go now. No one coming down from the snowy junction to the right. Exiting. Bins are out, so there could be bin day, so we're expecting to see the bin lorry at some point. Um, and as I can see, I can drop it up to third gear. Can't quite see around the next bend though I'm gonna to have to move out slightly for the blue car so just moving over slightly no one overtaking me beforehand just looking into the junction towards the right hand side we've got a 20 mile an hour when it flashes advisory so just looking down here just looking at the um, church at the top of the hill there's pedestrians on the left lots of driveways very steep and also icy so just being aware there could be people perhaps struggling to get on and off their drives as we come through pedestrian just walking onto the road here so just moving out for him we've also got traffic lights approaching now with a roundabout ahead we're looking to go straight ahead at the roundabout so and just considering which lane to approach in in this one there is a car currently behind starting off with my brake lights on the high grip surface looking to follow the road ahead so just having a look what's around the corner choose my gear to look to go there is another roundabout directly afterwards just coming through nice and steadily looking at the next gap which looks to be good giving a clear signal to the people on coming here I'm happy with that looking to go left on the next one so I'm going to let people know I intended that including the person behind can't quite see around the corner cancelling my signal now I'm going to go before the blue one looking to carry straight ahead we've also got a learner driver ahead we've got a junction on the left hand side uh, the car behind stopped at the roundabout to let the blue one go one's turning left lots of activity here lots of pedestrians just keeping it down I'm about 15 mile an hour hours are coming through just looking at the pedestrian crossing expecting to stop brake lights go on having a look to the person in the left hand side and putting my handbrake on as they cross the road looking to continue to stop I'm happy with the person behind who slowed down as well looking at the pedestrians that are looking to cross the road there's a nursery on the right hand side there's junctions on both sides as well it looks like it's a one-way street so continuing through nice and slowly here just looking on both sides we've also got a college this person are entering the college here on the left hand side so expecting her to cross in the road one vehicle still behind it's quite slippery on the road surface follows round towards the right as we come through here so just having a look over we can see someone on the drive well, I'm happy with that we're spending round towards the right now having a look around the corner looking to turn left at the end we've got one Peugeot waiting to turn right by the looks of it but no signal on I'll warn the person behind I intend to turn left here off the power slowing it down looking to go so into first gear to time it to go it's looking through the Peugeot to my right which is turning right now I can see Play a gap so I'm going to take the gap I can see reflections in the window that uh, suggested that one oncoming bus so 
there could be more buses as they come through with schools. Junction on the left hand side, junction on the right, there's also a commercial building to the right hand side and the left. Looks like a pub, so just coming through steadily. We've got one police officer on the left hand side, junction on the right hand side. There's also um, oncoming um, vehicles behind me at the moment. There's oncoming traffic which is parked up and an oncoming bus. So just move it over towards the left hand side just to help him to come through. Right mirror to move back out again. Happy with that and uh, just check in before I move back in towards the left. There's a traffic calming and keeping left side on the left. There's also potential for bikes to be about here. So keeping both side mirrors checked. Looking at the driveways, we've got pedestrian on the pavement. We've also got a sold sign on the left. So expecting people moving in and out of that junction on the right. Another more, more junctions on both sides. Lots of houses here, so expecting lots of pedestrians. Junctions on the left. There's also a keep left side again. Just uh, trying to keep us on our side of the road. So there's obviously been problems with overtakers here. Just keeping an eye on my right mirror as I move out towards the centre of the road just to come past the cars. Looking at the oncoming traffic, just warning them that I'm looking to come through. Person's picking up their uh, uh, bin outside the front of the car. And there's also a car waiting to emerge from the right. There's a junction on the left as well. We've got a quite close follow-up from behind. We've also got red lights in front of us as well. There's also a petrol station, junctions on both sides, pedestrians on the left, keeping well away from the curb. Cross stationary traffic with brake lights ahead, so just warning the person behind. We're looking to try and time it to come through on the green lights ahead. We've got one runner to the right, one junction with someone coming out, looking at the petrol stations and coming through. Look, looking to expect the lights to change as we come through here. Looking at the roundabout, checking my left mode before I move back to the left, making a decision to continue through here, looking to the right though. And again, looking at the next set of lights, got my brake lights on to warn the person behind. I'm going to make my decision to continue through. Uh, we're looking to go towards the left on this one, so I'm going to let everybody know I, that's what I intend to do. We've got one focus that stopped ahead. But British Lorry's looks just, just looking to come onto the roundabout. Let's have a look what he's doing. Looking at my exit as well, there's one lorry approaching on coming um, and there's, uh, it looks like there's a gap coming up shortly. So I'm looking to take that gap. One van could be potentially behind me. No, he isn't. Looking at the car to both sides of me. Happy with that at the moment. Exiting the roundabout, positioning slightly right of centre for the view ahead. We've also got a lorry, changes to a national, potential for an overtake. Starting to look whether or not it's worth the overtake here and looking how far the road signs is. It's about five miles to the next junctions etc. It looks like it turns into a dual carriage where there's certainly a slip road on the left hand side, the central barrier. It's so looking into the slip road before I change up towards fifth gear. I'm going to start making my decision as to what I'm going to do. It tells me it's two way traffic here, looking into the junction on the left. I'm happy with that. The one car's coming out but I'm going to merge in towards the left while in front of him. So just slowly merging over towards the left. Don't need to give a signal at the moment. There's no one to benefit from that. Although the road vehicle's in the far distance behind. It's clear I'm going to move back to the left. There's a van in the right hand lane that's possibly going to look to overtake me, so just like keeping an eye on him, keeping an eye on both side mirrors, looking ahead at the um, at the heavy vehicle. We've also got more vehicles ahead. Um, they're keeping a fairly steady pace, but they're not quite up to the full 60. Just checking my right mirror as we're coming into the narrowing of the lanes. There's tractors turning sign and also deer here, so expecting to see wildlife and problems. There's um, very quick uh, supercharged Range Rover in the right hand lane that just cut in at the last second. So expecting to see him overtaking as we come through here, but the middle of the centre of the road it looks like it's quite icy. It tells us to keep left with solid white lines, and also we know in the next few miles or so there's going to be some sort of town from the last few signs. The car ahead's got one light out for the tail light, however, um, I'm looking down the hill, it is, it is downhill and it is quite cold at the moment, so just thinking about easing off early, I can see the lorry in the distance, so he's been my eyes at the moment. Looking down, positioning towards the centre line, just to see what's happening. Oncomers that are looking to overtake, so just moving back towards the centre of my lane a little bit to help them out. Another roundabout, looking for my signs here, I'm heading towards Burton at the moment. So we've got brake lights from the uh, tractor unit on the lorry ahead, so I'm starting my brake lights for the vehicles behind. Taking a left-hand position to carry straight ahead at the roundabout, keeping an eye on my left mirror as I'm moving back towards that position. My brake lights are on nice and early. Starting to squeeze the bacon, looking for my gaps. I can see a yellow focus in my distance, so to keep keeping an eye on what he's doing. There is a car that's a Peugeot to the right, just looking what he's doing. Taking the gap before the wagon comes round here. It looks quite slippery this roundabout, so I'm going to take this with care. Just going to give a signal as I'm exiting the roundabout to let the van know, and also the pickup truck. Keeping an eye on the car behind. It's a blue crossfire, so just keeping an eye on him. It's keeping a fairly safe gap. Also more deer, there's a parking sign, so expecting the parking's in and out here. Nobody overtaking me on either side. Just keeping my gap between me and the Mondeo ahead, because um, 
obviously I need to be able to stop if there is a problem, but it is quite slippery road surface, so we might skid out of control. There is one vehicle parked up in the lay-by ahead. I'm happy to move in towards fifth because he's not moving, but up towards the 60 mile an hour speed limit. Looking well ahead, there's a slower mover uh, Fiesta, so he's just turned his lights on, um, so possibly looking for an overtake past him. He's going fairly slow at this point. There is vehicles behind. The Range Rover that we were talking about a moment ago is, is there as well. Now I'm expecting him to overtake, so at the moment I'm going to position towards the left to allow him to do that, then I don't need to worry about him as I do doing that. There's also another roundabout coming up ahead. I'm not quite sure which lane or which way I'm going to be heading, so I'm going to be keeping an eye out for that. Yes, the Range Rover, as expected, is looking for the overtake. He's just about to come past us now. I'm looking up to the third or fourth car ahead that's starting to break for the roundabout and considering how much power I need on the approach to this roundabout. We are following the road ahead. There's a seven and a half ton weight limit towards the junction on the left hand side, so just considering that. Still no one overtaking me in the right hand lane. Just a quick sideways glance just to double check that. Down to the 40. Tells us we're coming in towards the boundary, so I'm just looking ahead. Got brake lights in the distance. It's snowy on the road ahead. I'm going to choose my gear looking to go because it looks like there's a gap after the white car. Still got the brake lights on the Range Rover ahead though, so looking to continue through high grip surface. One van waiting to pull out. He has seen me. I'm happy with him. Just checking my side mirrors as I'm coming out here for anybody looking to overtake quickly. The Range Rover is also looking to overtake ahead and with a slippery road surface it might well cause skid. Junction's on the right, I'm happy with that. Also we're following the road ahead here. So just looking at the white pickup truck in the distance, he's given me an idea. There looks like there's um, a very highly coloured vehicle in the distance ahead which could be an ambulance so just keeping an eye on that. In the far distance there's a big row of cars behind me but they're all keeping a nice safe gap. They're all at a fairly decent uh, limit. It's currently through a 40 so just keeping an eye on that as we come through the speed camera. No brake lights on the vehicles ahead. There is lots of driveways on both sides. There's also a pub coming up called the ground ahead. So just looking out for that. Taking slightly right of position in my lane just to see around the left hander but being wary of the oncoming traffic. Lots of driveways and junctions. One car on the left I'm happy with him. I can also see there's a bus stop. No one waiting. There's currently one van behind. A few of them have turned off. Happy with that. <clears throat> Looking into the far distance ahead, more driveways and junctions. There's one oncoming um, van. I'm also looking at the vehicles behind them. There's a for sale sign. There's lots of junctions on both sides. There is looking lot, someone that's coming out from the left and um, uh, drive. So I'm just keeping an eye on my brake lights with the vehicles behind. Checking my speed down and my gear down. Looking to come past him. Thanking him for waiting. Right mirror to come through. Coming through nice and steadily. There's the bus stop. Just coming through that nice and steadily. We've also got brake lights ahead. So we've got uh, change down to 30 with the parked car on the opposite side of the road. So I'm going to favour the left hand side of my side of the road. I'm already down to the 30. Happy there's no cyclist down the left when I'm moving back in. There are lots of driveways so expecting the same sort of situation as we come through here. One van is at a fairly safe distance but the lights are on red ahead with the one station we car currently. Uh, looking at the oncoming traffic there's junctions on both sides as well so we're looking to follow the road ahead just looking at the road signs and markings to see which lane to be in it looks like the right hand one so I'm going to favour the right for now just giving plenty of room for any vehicles that want to look to turn left. Me, very very close to the right white line on the right hand side so keeping a nice safe gap between me and the Land Rover for an escape route. I've also got an escape route down the right and the left. Cycle lane down the left hand side. I'm happy there's no cyclists at the moment. I've got a clear view down the right hand side of the Range Rover. Letting them move away before I continue forward. Into second gear looking ahead. No people looking to turn across me at the moment but they might change their minds at the last minute. One red car's turn left there. A little bit of um, cycle lane. Keeping an eye for that. Slow sign on the road means something's happened here previously. Looking at the pickup truck to give an idea of how fast the traffic's moving ahead. Ahead. Keeping in the left hand lane in second gear because there's one van waiting to pull out from the left. I'm happy with him. Junction on the left, we've also got brake lights ahead. We've also got a pedestrian crossing. Happy with that. There is one pedestrian, but they've already passed it. Brake lights from the vehicles ahead. Looking on junctions on both sides. They both look quite snowy. Coming through steadily. Right mirror for moving out. There's one oncoming van, so I'm going to position early just to warn him I'm intending to move past these cars. Right mirror to move out a little bit further. Yes, there's a high vis vehicle I can see in the distance, which is an ambulance. Left mirror for moving back in. Lots of a bit more town centre here. We've got to also see a petrol station ahead. I'm okay for fuel. There's no one pushed the button on the pedestrian crossing, but pedestrians may well turn up. Checking the left mirror for pedestrians as they move back in. Lots of very slow moving traffic ahead, so I'm warning that with the brake light signal for, to the van behind. Uh, currently no pedals, just letting the car tootle along. One vehicle approaching from the right, he might take the gap. That's up to him whether or not he does that or not. Happy with the crossing, happy with him. Brake lights to the van behind and just keeping well back so I've got a nice clear view of the road ahead. There's Tasco Express to the left and there's a post office to the right so coming through nice and steadily. Positioning over towards the left to help the oncoming heavy and oncoming vehicles also keeping the junction on the left nice and clear. Got the van oncoming, just he is looking to turn. I can't go anywhere so just keeping the car nice and steady as I come through. He can make that 
that decision. He's gestured to me that he's going to continue through, leaving room for the heavy as we come through as well. Sideway has checked as well for cyclists. Happy with the van behind, tootling through nice and steadily as the traffic isn't moving that quickly. Positioning well away from the rover on the right. He's looking to turn right by the looks of it, but without a signal, no one overtaking me. No one coming past me on the left. There's George on the left, but it's no motor vehicles. Um, and also the uh, ambulance driver is looking to turn right ahead. We're going to continue in a straight on position here, looking to come past the silver car on the right and the row of parked cars, so no one overtaking me. There is a van which is a post van on the right hand side, possibly from the post office that we just saw, no one overtaking me, I'm happy with that. He looks like he's pressed the button, expecting the lights to change, warning the vehicle behind, just keeping the car just rolling. I'm at a safe distance from me, I can see the vehicle behind is slowing down, the vehicle behind him. Into first gear, looking to proceed forward when the lights change. Uh, as that's a puffing crossing, I'll expect that to change very quickly. Looking to follow the road ahead on the roundabout. It looks like the right hand lane, just crossing the line as where the lights have changed now and the stationary traffic ahead in any case. Kept up with the traffic but haven't needed to stop. Looking to the road ahead, the pickup truck and the supercharged Range Rover um, is taking it steady but they have stopped, just positioning over towards the right for the Derby Lane, which is exit 3 on this roundabout. It's keeping an eye on the right hand mirrors and coming through, keeping an eye on the left hand mirror as well. One white van approaching from the right, just keeping an eye, keeping a distance for an escape route towards the left if I need it. One yellow car for the right. It's quite a busy roundabout, quite a small roundabout. I'm going to use the block from the van to the right to take my gap. Looking over towards the left, taking a position nice and steady around the roundabout. Looking into the petrol station ahead, got a Costa and a pedestrian walking there. Just going to quit horn signal to the vehicle, looking to pull out in the Subaru. I'm happy with him, he's putting his seat behind and he's stopped. Left mirror to move back towards the curb for a better view. Junction's on the right, can't see between these vehicles, so keeping it nice and steady. Looking at the MOT place to the left hand side, very difficult view to the right, expecting someone to pull out here from the right hand side. I'm happy with that as we come through. Just double checking if someone's left a gap. There's a dog walker with the lead there on the left, junction's on both sides. Stop junction on the left, park cars on the right. I'm just going to warn oncoming cars by giving a quick signal to say I'm going to move out for the parked cars ahead because they are positioned quite far out to get a better view. Cancelled my signal, I'm not turning right here, I'm positioning towards the right so I can see I'm happy with the Mercedes that's approaching from the right. Just going to check uh, to see if the left hand side's clear before I move back in, which it looks to be one vehicle pulling out ahead. Junction on the left, again they're quite snowy, restricted view to the right hand side, one pedestrian on the pavement could slip up and looking to continue down the hill looking at the driveways on both sides. Road bends round towards the left and there's also a, a school patrol sign ahead as well so just keeping an eye out on the brake lights from the Fiesta ahead, it's a 30 limit, double slow signs, a solid white line in the middle, junctions on both sides. One oncoming Audi, just keeping an eye out for him, positioning slightly right of centre for the view, keeping an eye on the van driver behind junctions on both sides, driveways on both sides, at the 30 in third gear, parked silver car on the right, left, so just starting to check if it's clear in the right hand side before I'm moving out. I'll let these vans and vehicles move out before I continue to proceed out nice and steadily. So I'm taking my position in the centre of the road to walk with oncoming cars, steadily moving back in after I've checked what's down the left hand side. Keeping an eye out for the speed cameras down here as well. Positioning towards the right for the left hander and the left for the right hander crossroad school. Junctions and driveways all the way down here. Keeping it nice and steady positioning to left of centre for the view. We've got an oncoming pedestrian in the road as well. Uh, looking on both sides of the crossing, I'm happy with that. One van quite closely following behind. There's driveways and junctions on both sides as well. One person walking very close to the edge of the pavement because it's quite slippery. Just moving out, taking favour in the position well away from him. Another petrol station coming up, harvest on the right hand side. Positioning, just considering what's happening there. Nobody overtaking me currently. Parked up car on the left hand side, so positioning out nice and early. Looking at the, uh, the petrol station, I'm happy with that. Position out slightly just to warn the oncoming Honda. Left mirror just to move back in slightly for cyclists, keep an eye out for them. Currently none at the moment. There's also traffic lights ahead. Lots of turning traffic here, so not expecting to be able to go straight through. We've kept up with the supercharged Range Rover here. Expecting for the lights to change, but no one's actually pushed the button, although this is also uh, a junction at crossroads as well. So I'm going to make my decision to go now, continuing straight ahead. Just looking through at the crossroads, one white van behind. I'm happy with what's coming up either side. Just going to check if it's clear in the right mirror before we're back towards the right hand side steadily up towards there because I can see well up ahead one heavy on coming parking areas on the left hand side lots of driveways on both sides looking up to the white van around the corner who's giving me uh, brake light signals or not as the case may be one on coming heavy just positioning out of the way for him no cyclist down the left 
driveways and junctions on both sides of the road, more speed cameras, so there's been a problem with speed here previously. Lots of snow by the side of the road, so just keeping an eye out for that. We've got a house on the left hand side where there's a vehicle reversing, so brake lights to the vehicle ahead, quick horn signal, make sure he's seen me. As we approach this, I'm going to give another brake light signal to the van behind because he is very, very close, positioned and well away from the hazard, oncoming vehicles as well, just warning them by positioning a bit further out in the road. Positioning back towards the left, no cyclists. I'm also looking at the wheel in pub on the left hand side and it gives me directions towards Swaddling Coat, so I'm just keeping my position to get the best view down the road ahead. More pedestrian crossings, there's been problems with pedestrians here. Lots of traffic turning in front of me, so just keeping my speed nice and steady. Warning the van behind me, brake lights as we're coming through steadily. It's going to continue to look, they're happy that they've seen me now, so I'm coming through nice and steadily. Another car looking to turn across my path here. Uh, I'm just looking ahead, bus stop, there's also a slow sign on the road, bends round towards the left, so I'm going to position slightly right of centre, oncoming cars. Still street lamps reminding me it is still a 30, there's lots of driveways on both sides of the road. Just looking over the top of the hill, I'm going to have to lift up and stretch my neck to get the best view. And there's, also there's lots of bins out here, so expecting again to see that bin, uh, bin uh, truck as we come round to one of these corners at some point. Lots of driveways again on both sides of the road, bus stop again, so I'm bound to see a bus at some point on this route. Changes to a less hazardous centre line, uh, where it was a hazard line before, and there's lots of driveways on the left, but there's a brick wall on the right, so they've got very little escape route, but there is uh, lots of width on the pavements on either side, with one pedestrian on the left. Brake lights from the vehicles well in the distance ahead, there's also another petrol station, um, so positioning slightly more towards central lane for the best view down the road ahead. Brake lights from the course are in the far distance, and looking out for the petrol station, we're positioned for the best view of that. If you want to come coming cars with the fog lights on at the moment. Slow sign and again that reminds us that there's also a problem with this petrol station. One vehicle just only just tucked into the petrol station so I'm going to warn him behind me brake lights. You can also see that the uh, it's a very busy roundabout ahead. I'm giving priority to people coming round the roundabout. So just having a look what's happening for that. It's into first gear looking to go perhaps after this taxi driver. Just timing it to get there when it's clear. Happy with that. Uh, the Fiesta signal in the opposite direction and he's going that direction. No overtaking for 945 yards. In towards second gear as we exit towards the roundabout. Happy no one's overtaking. There's also a 40 mile an hour limit change ahead. Junction's on the right. Bus stop on the left. Still no overtaking. Changes to a 40. Looking ahead. Still no one overtaking me, so I'm happy to put my foot down back, back down to 40. I can see well up in the distance. There's also a junction on the left coming up, and just having a look into that as I approach it. Looks like there's a slip road turning on, but it looks quite slippery. There's a potential for people turning across my path into a business park, so perhaps a lot of traffic there, but I'm happy with that at the moment. One oncoming Red Astra without its lights on, just looking at the junction on the right hand side, positioning slightly left to centre, happy with the slip road on the left hand side for the best view. Um, so just looking into the pub on the right hand side and the Premier Inn keeping up to the 40 limit because I'm happy with the road ahead. One silver car has just pulled out, expecting another one to do the same as we approach the pub here. Quick brake light signal to the vehicle behind with the van. It's locking in both sides here, positioning towards the right for the slight left hand and a slight downhill. Junctions on both sides, post box on the left. There is a junction coming up, so expecting someone coming out of that. So just drop my speed back a little bit so that I can cope with that, with it being potentially quite icy. And looking down the road ahead, I can see that the junction's okay, so just picking up my speed again, no one overtaking me at the moment. Still a 40 limit, just keeping an eye on the Audi ahead. It looks like he's got um, a uh, exhaust that's quite hanging low, so that could come off as well. There's uh, broken lines in the middle, so if I need to come over them, I can do, but positioning quite close to them now for the best view down the road to the left. Oncoming vehicles ahead. There's a junction coming up on the right, keeping an eye on the van driver behind, I'm happy with him and in the left hand mirror I can see there's a, another couple of cars behind him, but I'm happy with them, they're at a safe gap distance at the moment, I've got a nice distance in front, there's driveways on both sides, there's a bus stop ahead, also into the distance there's more cars that are going to give me a clue, if they start braking then I know there's going to be a problem ahead. So there's also a junction coming up at the top of the hill, lots of driveways, there's quite a steep driveway to the left, wide wide road so I'm going to position over towards the left just happy with cyclists on the left hand side here just checking that before I'm moving back in just considering that this van driver might overtake me there's also a right turner ahead so just considering we may come to a stop here if he's, if the road narrows again junction on the left yeah there might be someone coming out of that junction as well so just warning in with the brake lights ahead down to third gear to cope with the top of the hill and the junctions on the right I'm happy with the white van to the right and now I've got a Mercedes quite closely following behind. Taking a position well away from the cars on the left hand side. One van turning left, there's also a petrol station and a roundabout. So warning that with the brake light signal to the people behind, looking to follow the road ahead. One crossing my path into the petrol station, just as expected, keeping my brake lights on. It looks like the right hand lane's possibly the best lane to continue straight ahead here. So taking that lane, one Skoda to the right, keeping an eye on my right mirror as I'm approaching. There's also a, a gap just after this um, 
moped here, taking the gap, just following the just a BMW as we come in out. Mercedes still behind me, a bit bumpy as we come around that roundabout, so exiting as far away from that as I possibly can. Exiting towards the right, no one overtaking me, just so that I can get a better view of the road ahead. There's also parked cars, brake lights from the BMW ahead, looks like the car ahead, sir, and there's an oncoming cyclist coming up the hill, so he's struggling a little bit. Oncoming driving instructor, I'm just going to warn him that there's a problem ahead with moving out slightly and then back in, just checking there's no cyclist down the left hand side, keeping well towards the left, tells me it's a downhill 7%, so keep Keeping it in second gear or third gear just to help me out. One or two cars looking to pull out from the right, no one pushed the button. Still got a vehicle quite closely following from behind as well. Still a 40 limit, so keeping an eye on my speed as it coming down the hill, but it changes to a 30. BMW's looking to turn right into the pub, so just warning the um, Mercedes driver behind that he's looking to do that. Taking a position so he can see the BMW, but just being conscious of the junctions on the left hand side. Dropping the speed back as I'm approaching the back of him, because I don't want to come through the gap unless I'm happy. He looks like he's going to take the next gaps, coming through very steadily as I'm coming through here. Here, because there's a driveway on the left right mirror just to move out slightly for a better view and uh, just looking down the road ahead so still a 30 as we come down this route there's also a Mercedes driver very very close behind me one car's approached from the right hand side lots of driveways on both sides as well still looking at that junction there could be someone else coming from down there positioning slightly central lane here for a better view down the road and lifting up into the seat and stretching my neck there is a parked car ahead so I'm moving out nice and early so that the Mercedes behind can see that position over by checking uh, it's clear to the right hand side there's also traffic lights that are on green but they might change oncoming traffic so again just warning the oncoming Coming traffic that I intend to overtake the parked cars on the left hand side. Um, so just looking out for that. There's junctions on the right, someone's looking to pull out from there and just keeping an eye on any cyclists that could be flying down this hill. The Fiat 500, I'm happy with him, I made eye contact with him. I'm going to move back towards the left, no cyclists still. Coming down the hill. Another set of traffic lights around the corner, according to the sign junction on the left. There's also a double solid lines on the double. Um, yellow lines on the left hand side so no parking at any point at this point so no waiting at any point at this stage but we could drop off and pick up if we needed to we're looking to follow the road ahead which we need the right and lane for i'm just going to see how the mercedes reacts to my signal just checking over my right shoulder checking exactly where he is and thanking him for letting me to come through we are following the road ahead just keeping a nice safe gap between me and the courser ahead just so that i can see and one of our windows is coming towards town to get the better idea of what's coming up around me um, i'm just creeping forward nice and slow just keeping the steady run going i might consider turning off my, lot, my engine if I'm going much further ahead but there are driveways on both sides I've still got an escape route to my right if I need it but I've got no escape route to the left vehicles behind are coming down a hill so just keeping an eye and checking they are stopping looking to the gap down the left hand side of the uh, courser as well expecting cars to do the same as they've just done for the vehicles on the left hand side and I'm going to apply the handbrake and take it out of gear and now I'm going to make sure the handbrake's working and turn off the engine turning off the engine so that we don't waste fuel whilst we're sitting here we don't need to have the engine running whilst we're stationary but i am keeping an eye on the traffic behind um there's a bit a few bits of traffic behind as we come to a stop at the lights and getting the engine on starting off in second gear as it's a downhill keeping an eye on the left hand lane did advise me to use the right lane to continue straight ahead only so just keeping an eye on my mirrors as i'm coming through there's a taxi driver to the left got a solid line in the middle which means i can't come past that at this point but i will be looking to move back towards the left at some point depending on what the signs say ahead so i'm back up towards the 30 mile an hour here as we're coming through one pedestrian on the pavement more than one now just having a look at the oncoming traffic it's quite close contact here as we come in towards town we are following the road ahead towards the a50 and a38 town centers towards the left and wrapped to the right so expecting to see a lot of heavy traffic here lights have been on green a while so although i'm keeping up with the traffic i'm expecting them to change it does tell me that i can use both lanes for following the road ahead so i'm looking to move back towards the left however there is someone there at the moment Continuing to follow the road ahead, looking through as I come through the lights. There's a parked vehicle on the left hand side. It's just discouraging the Mondeo from coming through that gap by moving over towards the left slightly, uh, as he's going to have to move out to come past the, uh, the uh, white car to the left, and then warning him I'm going to be moving back towards the left with the left hand side. I thanked him for letting me do that. I'm looking on both sides with the driveways and the junctions. One car approaching from the right, making sure we see me. One police car ahead. I'm just looking ahead as well for the signs. There's also a red light ahead, so I'm giving brake light signals to the vehicles behind, one car awoken to come out towards the left, it says to keep clear, just keeping clear of the junction on the left as well, I've got my brake lights on as well to warn anybody behind, just keeping an eye on that junction in my left mirror and uh, just looking to keep the vehicle rolling if we can do. Now I've come to a stop, I will apply the handbrake and take it out of gear, I'm going to turn off the engine, there's also keep my brake lights on as well just in case anyone appears from behind. Um, just looking out for the box junction ahead, there's a junction to the right 
which looks like a police station. So just keeping an eye out for that as well. There's about one red focus approaching from that. There's also a few vehicles approaching from behind. So I'm just going to give my brake light signal to the white van behind me. I'm going to turn my engine on just in case I need to escape out of that situation. Start creeping forward a little bit uh, just to um, get the car moving as we're coming up towards the green lights. Keeping an eye on my right hand mirror because there is someone coming looking to overtake which is the Fiat 500 that was looking to come out of the junction earlier on. Looking to follow the road ahead. I'm happy with the junctions. Uh, looking at the road markings it does say I can use this lane to follow the road ahead. So keeping an eye on both sides of the car. One car comes in from the left hand side. The lights are just changed ahead so I'm not going to change until we can continue through because there's a bit of traffic here. One or two cars behind, junctions on both sides. Went underneath the bridge so it's quite, quite slippery here. The right lanes were turning right only so I expect people switching lanes here. Uh, just especially as we come through, expecting the lights to change. I'm going to make my decision to come through over this arrow. So we're coming through now, looking to the right though, just looking to the checking these cars are going to come to a stop, making sure they're not crossing my path. Checking my side mirrors just to see what's either side of the car. And moving it up to third gear just to relax the engine because I can see the traffic's moving ahead. Although I've just had brake lights in from the course ahead, that's just because they're all travelling quite close. Looking up to the roundabout into the far distance. Can't quite see over the brow of the hill, but looking out towards the signs towards your toxter, which is the exit I'm going to take. So just keeping an eye on my side mirrors as I'm choosing my lane on the approach, which I'd, I'd expect to be the left hand lane, although that might well change. So just keeping an eye on both sides. One oncoming heavy vehicle, which is a bus, so just keeping well away from him. No escape route, so keeping it nice and steady so I can stop if I need to. There's also a, a, a brake light signals from the vehicles ahead. So just giving that just before I come over the brow of the hill, just so vehicles behind can see that. One or two oncoming vehicles. Following the road ahead at this roundabout, I can see the right hand lanes for right only. So I'm just checking if there's any cyclists and just closing the gap between me and the kerb, just so that people can come past me to the right if they really want.